Hi, I am Riyaz Sheikh and welcome to my channel, Office Academy. So today is a special video because we are not going to understand some topic, but find a value of a special number that is zero power of zero. So without consuming any more time, let's move on to our board. So why is it important zero power of zero? What is it? Because it overlaps the two properties of indices that is x power of 0 which is equals to 1 and 0 power of x which is equals to 0. Here you can see that uh, in the power there is 0 if we consider the first property then the value should be 1. If we consider the second property when the base is 0 then the value should be 0. Right? Which one of them is correct? This one or this one? Either one of them or maybe some another value we will find out. But for that we will create a simple mistake, a simple chart. Right? So what is it? For, for to find the value of 0 power of 0, we'll find a we'll get create a simple chart that is for x power of x and we'll get the random values of it, whatever the values will be. And we'll try to go as close as possible for towards the 0. That is, we'll try to go as close to 0. Let me we'll start with 1 and we'll start reducing the value of x that is 1 or um, then 0 0.9, 0 0.8, and so on. We'll see what um, values we are getting and we'll create some conclusion according to it and we'll probably find a value of 0 power 0. So let's start with the 1 that is 1 power of 1 which is equals to 0 then if we move forward 0 0.9 power of 0 0.9 that is 0 0.9095. If we move forward 0 0.8 power of 0 0.8 which is 0 0.8365 if we move forward 0 0.7 to the power of 0 0.7 it is 0 0.7790 we can see it is reducing so 0 0.6 to the power of 0 0.6, it's again 0 0.7360, 0 0.5 to the power. It's reducing gradually now, but it's still reducing. So we can see, keep probably let's see for the next value as well, 0 0.4 to the power of 0 0.4. It's reducing again 0 0.6931. So I can see that it's reducing and maybe it's going to be zero because getting reduced from 1 0 0.9 to 0 0.8 0 0.7 0 0.7 and 0 0.6 maybe 0 0.5 and so on for that we have to check for the further numbers but till now we were we can see that it's reducing right it's reducing so let's check it for the next number 0 0.3 to the power of 0 0.3 that is 0 0.6968 wait a second that is greater than our previous number Till now, the numbers were reducing, our values were reducing, but for 0 0.3 to the power of 0 0.3 is 0 0.6968, which is greater than previous value. So that is that the number has been increased. So let's check for the next number. That is, of course, we'll move on forward. For the values, we'll not stop over here. We'll find the value for 0 0.2 to the power of 0 0.2, which is 0 0.7247. Okay, it's increasing now. 0 0.1 to the power of 0 0.1, 0 0.7943, it's increasing again. Okay, so till 0 0.4 it was reducing and from 0 0.3 it's increasing. Now let's take a bigger gap, uh, 0 0.05 to the power of 0 0.05, it's 0 0.8608. Okay, it's increasing. Let's find the value for 0 0.01 to the power of 0 0.01, which is 0 0.9549. If we go move on forward one decimal shift if we shift one decimal directly to get the approximate values so we can find 0 0.001 to the power of 0 0.001 which is 0 0.9931 okay now we are getting very close to one first it was reducing and now it's increasing and it's going very close to one let's move check one more decimal if we let go for 0 0.0001 to the power of 0 0.0001 we get 0 0.9990 that is triple nine zero if we approximate more it's 0 0.9998 if we go more that is 0 0.0000001 to the power of 0 0.0001 which will be 0 0.9999 and 9 so on your calculator you can try depending upon the calculator you, you are using you can use 0 point n number of times of 0 that is maybe 6 7 8 9 times of 0 and then 1 to the power of same will definitely give you one yeah it will never equal to never be equal to one but it will definitely go very close to one and at the end the calculator will approximate for you and give the value one
it may happen and of course depending upon the calculator and digital space uh, it will give you the uh, uh, exact values so by this can we come to the conclusion that is 0 power of 0 equals to 1 yes if x tends to 0 that means here this arrow means tends to 0 that means x is going very close to 0 it may be not equals to 0 in fact it's not equals to 0 but if x is trying to be 0 is going very close to 0 and then 0 power of 0 is 1 in this case x is nothing but x power of x right so if you observe we have seen that from 1 to 0 0.4 or maybe between 0 0.4 to 0 0.3 the values were reducing and then it was increasing so it will be very interesting to plot the graph for this so let's plot a graph for uh, the x power of x y equals to x power of x from 1 to 0 if you can see from 1 to 0 or maybe 0 to 1 we have plot it in a reverse way you will find the values were reducing till the point of 0 0.4 to anything between 0 0.4 to 0 0.3 and then it was increasing till the point of 1 so in the end we have found a value of 0 power of 0 equals to 1 so that's all for the video and if you find this video helpful do share it with your friends and give a like so that it reaches out to the more people Hope to see you again in the next video. Till then, take care of yourself and people around you.